Hello, and welcome to another episode of BBN News, where the kids are the stars. Our first story comes from Miss Moore. Miss Moore? Oh, hey, Mr. Good. This is Miss Moore here, out here getting my flower pots ready. It reminded me of the great work some of these kids did this week for Earth Day. We had Olivia, Emily E, Jillian, Augustine, and Lucas W. They took the Earth Day Challenge, they got outside, they walked, they made the earth prettier by planting seeds, picking up garbage, recycling, um, and one of them even made a special 50th birthday present for the earth. So, thanks kids. I think the earth probably thanks you too. Today's Spanish shout out goes to the kids who completed my cascarones challenge a couple weeks ago. Um, Jacob, Zegan, Elizabeth, Brody, Jackson, and Allie. Be ready next week when we see what fun things we had planned for Cinco de Mayo. Tango and buen dia. Back to you, Mr. Good. Muy bien, Miss Moore. Our next story comes from Miss Copenhagen. Mrs. Popenhagen here, reporting for Brookwood's Best News. And boy, do I have good news. Our goal this week was to read over 3,000 pages. And Mustangs, you went way beyond that and read 3,960 pages. Super job, middle school Mustangs. You sure do like a challenge. I'd like to recognize these students who are consistently entering their pages. Mason G, fourth grade. Emily E, 5th grade, Sienna P, 6th grade, Kaysen K, 7th grade, and Addison P, 8th grade. Keep it up, middle school Mustangs. We're doing great. We're going to see if we can finish April with our goal of over 4,000 pages. Remember, you can read in a tree. You can read on one knee. It doesn't matter how, because reading is good for you and me. Oh, and now back to you, Mr. Goose. Thanks, Ms. Popenhagen. 4,000 pages. I know we can do it. Come on, Mustangs. This is our week. Our next story comes from the art department. Hello, Mustangs. Miss Nusain reporting here from my home studio space in Genoa City. Let me start by saying the artwork you've been submitting online is impressive. A wise artist once said... Um, uh, Hi, John. I'm in the middle of a newscast. Is it important? It's, it's very important. Um, okay. Okay. So what's an artist's favorite swimming stroke? I don't know. What is an artist's favorite swimming stroke? The brush stroke. Ah. Okay. Well, back to the art news. In this segment, I'd like to highlight Julia and Hannah's super artwork. This project was inspired by Andy Warhol's Campbell Soup Cans. Way to go, girls! This next piece is a shoe in to be featured. Great attention to detail and bright red color. Created by Zane in seventh grade. Way to go, Zane! I'd also like to recognize two sixth grade artists, Diego and Maya B. These artworks are sure to brighten your day. The students were asked to create an imaginative world inside of a light bulb drawing. Wow, great idea, guys. Thank you, Brookwood artists. Keep creating and posting your images to our online art gallery at Padlet. Back to you, Mr. Goose. <laughs> Brush stroke. That was a good one, Miss Nusain. Hey, let's see what our younger art students are doing with Miss Horak. This is Horak here with Brookwood's Best 4th and 5th grade art news. First off, I would like to give a great big shout out to all fourth and fifth grade artists. They worked really hard and made some amazing art while we were still working in the classroom. Here is a picture gallery of our last few art projects. See what I mean? It's pretty cool and colorful art, right? Right. Since we've been working from home, the fourth and fifth grade artists have been posting some very creative pictures for my drawing challenges, as seen here. Yeah. 
those are pretty cool too, right? Right. Well, next up, I have an announcement. My fourth and fifth grade art contest. I have posted the challenge of drawing Baby Yoda from The Mandalorian on the Related Arts website. Ms. Nusain, Ms. Moore, and myself have the challenge of choosing the three most detailed and creative Baby Yodas. Prizes are on my post. You may also find your picture on the next Brookwood's Best broadcast. So, have fun, and back to you, Mr. Guth, for more Brookwood's Best. Aw, oh, I love Baby Yoda. I can't wait to see those pictures. Our next story comes from Ms. Cottrell. Ms. Cottrell? Hi, Mustangs. Ms. Cottrell here. Happy to be on the second edition of Brookwood's Best News. Wanted to give a quick shout out to some of the students in my related arts classes. Kaysen Klebundy and CJ Branham both completed at-home Test Your Taste Buds labs, and CJ also grew his own crystals in Science in Real Life. And then Fitness First, Elizabeth Allen, Chloe Erickson, and Autumn Lovely have been exercising at home, getting outside for walks, enjoying beautiful days like this, and making healthy snacks for their families. You've been doing amazing work online. Keep it up. Back to you, Mr. Goo. So, I'm wondering how do I get some of those healthy snacks? Next story comes from Band and Ms. Collins. Thanks, Mr. Guth. Today I want to recognize two students from World Music. Their assignment for the last two weeks was to make a presentation about the music of a country of their own choice. I had two students do fantastic work this week. Kaja taught me all about the music of Albania, which is a country I didn't know very much about until I read her presentation. And Naya did a great presentation about the music of Ireland. I was so impressed with their work. Great job, ladies. Nice job, Kaja and Naya. Let's keep it with the music department and see what Miss Oderno's got. Miss Oderno here. Looking good, Brookwood Middle School Choir. Keep writing and sending in your assignments. And now back to you, Mr. Guth. Awesome, thanks, Miss Oderno. Our next story comes from Mr. Granahan. Hi, Mr. Granahan here with the technology shout outs for the week. Um, for fourth and fifth grade, I have two students I would like to recognize that have both done amazing work uh, for the fourth and fifth grade, and that is Michael and Anias have both done an amazing job uh, getting all their assignments in and uh, being really responsible. Great job. In sixth grade, I have a few students I'd like to recognize uh, that have been working really well. Uh, Juan, Alex, Keith, and Lucas have all done well uh, with completing their sixth grade work. And finally, for 7th and 8th grade, I have one student I'd like to do a shout out for, um, and that is CJ. Uh, if you take a look in the video right up here, you can see that he has not only been working on the assignments, but creating a video for it. But even more than that, you can see over here, over here, and over here, he has actually completed three videos, three separate assignments that he has made this week. Awesome, awesome job, CJ. So that's it for the technology shout outs and great work, guys. Keep it up. Hey, CJ, that is awesome. Really cool projects. Nice job, CJ. Our next story comes from Miss Obrey. Thank you, Mr. Guth. This is Mrs. Obrey reporting to you from my home. Welcome back to Brookwood's Best News. This week, I wanted to really showcase one of my students from my career exploration class, and that student is Brenna. Brenna completed her career research project even a little early and did an amazing job. So thank you, Brenna, and thank you to all the students who are doing really, really good work. Um, and I wanted to just wish you guys all well. Take care. Thanks, guys. See you next week. Back to you, Mr. Guth. Nice job, Brenna. Our next story comes from Mr. Guth. Thanks, Mr. Guth. This week in FIAD, we had a number of awesome things happening. We had a pillow jumping challenge. See how many pillows or stuffed animals you could jump over in your living room, in your house somewhere. And I saw a ton of awesome, awesome videos of people being creative and stacking some soft things up and jumping over them. Also, uh, our younger kids were tasked with creating a mini golf course within their house. And again, I saw a ton of really, really cool, really creative mini golf courses. 
the one thing that really stood out to me was Jillian's, because she went behind the couch. She had her course, part of it went behind the couch, and that was awesome, so I'd love to see the creativity this week. Nice job, Brookwood kids. Can't wait to see what you come up with next week. And back to you, Mr. Guth. Mini golf. I love mini golf. Thanks, Mr. Guth. Our next story comes from Mrs. Zhang. Five lab students have been submitting their daily new routines and schedules that they've been working from home. I've also had a couple kids submit new robot designs as well. It's been really great, and it's awesome to see them reflect on what they've learned and how they made their robot better. If you haven't had a chance to do that yet, 4 or 5, make sure you get those submissions turned in soon. Our 7th and 8th graders have been working on a project with Pixar Studios that starts this week. We've also got a couple kids that have taken off on some DIY challenges. Naya's been working on a Minecraft world that's a prototype off of what we had as a challenge for last week's DIY activity. And Isaac is working on a website that he's building in regards to some of the animals and things that he's been doing on his farm. To my 7th and 8th grade lab students, if you haven't checked out the assignments lately, make sure you do. We're going to do some meat soon and it'll be a lot of fun because you get to design the meat and you get to choose who's in it. Look forward to hearing from you. Way to go, Mustangs, and way to work hard. Now back to you, Mr. Goo. Thanks, Mr. John. A project with Pixar Studios? That sounds like a lot of fun. Our final story is all about the yearbook. Hey, this is Miss Moore here, going through my old yearbooks. Can't believe how fast time has gone. This one was back when they were in black and white. Don't blink. Time really does go by fast. Order your book today. If you have not got your yearbook yet, make sure you do it. That yearbook is always amazing. Well, that's about all the time we have. For all the staff here at BBN News, stay awesome, Brookwood.